Hi, this is April from the Noble Garden. Today is May the 15th, 2021, and we're gonna get my peppers in. One thing you're gonna notice about my peppers is I separate my hot peppers from my sweet peppers. They're in two different rows. And the reason why I do that is because if you put the hot and the sweet together, and whenever the birds come around to pollinate them, not birds, I'm sorry, whenever the bees come around to pollinate them, they cross pollinate. So if I save a sweet pepper, Next year, if I were to use that seed, those peppers might be spicy, and I don't want that. So that's why I separated them. Before I get too far down with these peppers, I'm going to go ahead and plant this last red basil here. soil mixture that I did guys I'm really digging it it is just as soft as it can be it's real black and I found a few worms in here already and it stays nice and moist so we don't have to water every day If you've got some basil that has gotten some damage on it, like this one doesn't look too pretty right here, they bounce back. So don't give up on them. Don't throw them out. I'd plant them and see what they can do. You'd be amazed. Because they grow off shoots too. This one smells really good. So let's get started. I grew me a board right here. So I'm going to start from there. And I'm going to measure six inches away from there. And just like my tomato plants, I'm going to use the same little cocktail that I made up. Peppers and tomatoes are from the same family called nightshade. So they like a lot of the similar stuff. And you can bury these deep, but just not as deep as tomatoes. These right here are called tomato cages whenever you go to look for them. They're not really good for tomatoes because tomatoes get way taller than what this allows for, but this is perfect for pepper plants. And what I did wrong last year, I didn't account for how big my pepper plants can get. So I tried to put these cages on them when they were already really big and producing, and they were really hard to get in these cages, and I ended up breaking a lot of leaves off, limbs off. So what I decided to do this year is, even though they're little, go ahead and put them in the ground so they can grow with the cage. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down this line and I'm going to plant them every six inches. And you do plant peppers a little bit closer than where you plant tomato plants because they actually load, like to hold hands and they actually produce better the closer you do them. I, I think you could probably do them four inches apart. Um, I feel like that's a little close and four inches wouldn't work with these cages either. And I'm not even sure if six inches is, but we're going to try it. Like. Six inches from this center of this plant to what I would want to do the center of that plant I think this is going to work because of the cage so I'm going to have to probably do this more like eight inches.
any pepper that I see growing any type of babies on them or flowers on them, I'm gonna go ahead and take them off because just like my pepper, I'm sorry, just like my tomato plants, I want them to worry about their roots first instead of their fruit. It makes me sad though. All I'm doing to pick these off is just taking them off by my fingernail. Use my fingernails to pinch it and tear it off. Being real gentle. I don't want to mess the plant up. And what I'm going to do for the next like two weeks, anything that I see flowering, I'm going to take the flowers off for two weeks and then I'm going to let it be. And we can go off of this experience for next year to see if that was enough time. looking at the roots of this it's a little root bound I don't know if y'all can see that roots in this video but um, it's most definitely time to put these guys in I really tried to wait it out as long as I could but I think it's enough is enough just gonna have to hope for the best at this point I looked at my 10 day forecast and other than tonight tonight's supposed to be exactly 50 and everything else is supposed to be higher so I really think this is my best chance to go ahead and get these in Yeah, that made that cage pretty tight. I probably could have done six inches, but it would have been tight. They start touching each other. Peppers really did amaze me last year at how big they can get. It was also the best I've ever done with peppers, so. I did notice that there's a marigold here. So I'm gonna make sure that the next plant is planted six inches from that marigold. If you plant on planting your own, your own stuff from seeds, save the little packs that you get because all you can do is wash them and reuse them for your own seeds. Since I ran out of cages, I'm just going to be um, creative and finding something. What I'll probably do is I got a lot of bamboo sticks. I think this week I'll just come in and make some type of contraption with them to try and support these. I'll have to figure something out.
Sure is much cooler out here though. So one thing I wanted to show you guys before I lose out of light is how to prune and what I'm talking about pruning a tomato. I left a few tomatoes for you guys. So this right here is a Cherokee purple. I got me my pruning scissors and we're going to prune this tomato right quick. And let me show you exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about pruning. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the bottom two leaves off. And the next thing is I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about pruning. You see this right here, that is a sucker. Is Actually, that might not be a sucker. Here we go. You see that in the middle of that armpit there? This right here is a sucker. So you're gonna have main leaf, sucker, fruit leaf, main leaf. And this is the main part of the tomato. I do not wanna do anything with this main part. All I'm gonna do is take care of that sucker. And all I'll do is cut it off. I'm also gonna go ahead and cut these flowers off because I don't want this one flowering quite yet. I'll let it have its next flowers. All right, guys, that's how you take care of that. Guys, this sucker is actually pretty huge. I could put this in water right now, let it root, and have a whole nother plant. And once it grew its roots, you could either put it in a cup of soil or just put it in the ground. This one is even bigger, and this one is an early girdle. So I left it for me to show you guys as well. Same thing, I'm gonna cut these two bottom leaves off. And I cut the bottom leaves off because that's what the water splashes on. And you'll start seeing, you're going to see bug damage. See bug damage on there. The leaves uh, turn colors. It's just where all the bad, yucky stuff happens. This bottom leaf right here, can you see that sucker there? I'm going to cut both of them off, of course. And then you're going to see a sucker right there. I'm going to remove that one. And then I'm pretty sure that's a sucker there, but by the way this plant's growing, I don't want to accidentally cut that piece and it'd be the top of the plant. So I'm actually going to leave it alone for now. But that is how you prune a tomato to one stem. Sometimes they get away from me and I don't get them done. And let me show you a plant that a sucker got away from me and how it looks. So on this tomato here, a sucker got away from me, and I can't tell what's the main part here or the main part here. You see how it looks like two? One of those at one point was a sucker and one's the main stem, but it is impossible for me to tell. So I'm just gonna let both of them grow. But my plan is to be like this. You see how here, I can tell this is one whole thing and I'm cutting all the suckers off in the middle to make one stem grow up. All right, guys, I got my peppers in. You'll notice 
So these are all my hot peppers here. And down there are all my sweet peppers. And I ran out of room. So my wanting to keep my hot and sweet separate is not going to happen this year. These right here are some more sweet. So I'm probably not going to save seeds. Or unless I'm okay with some of them being spicy. Thank you guys for watching me get my peppers in. If you like my videos, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you everybody.